Good morning, Southeast students and staff. Today is Thriving Thursday, September 23rd. I'm Mr. Z. Remember, successful Spartans are productive. They participate in class, they complete, and submit their work. Now, if you would, please join me for a moment of silence. Thank you. So, I'm gonna omit the dad joke today because we've got a lot to talk about. It's Thriving Thursday and the theme is pursue happiness. That's right, happiness isn't something we're born with, but instead it's something we have to chase. Uh, and chasing happiness is worth it because A, feeling happy feels good, but B, we know that happy per people perform at a higher level with less effort than those same people when they're unhappy. Yeah, you do more trying less when you're happy, and you do less even though you're trying more when you're unhappy. So it's worth it. So how do we pursue happiness? Well, thankfully, science and psychological research has provided us a model called the PERMA model. PERMA stands for P, positive emotion, E, engagement, R, relationships, M, meaning, and A, accomplishments. Over the next several Thursdays, we're going to look at each one of those individual components. Today, we're talking about positive emotions, not just happiness, but emotions like hope, interest, joy, love, compassion, pride, amusement, gratitude, all of these things, when we put our focus onto them in our lives, can cultivate an improved learning environment and improve well-being. When individuals can explore, savor, and integrate positive emotions into daily life, or visualizations of their future life, it improves habitual thinking and acting. So positive emotions undo the harmful effects of negative emotions and they create and promote resilience. That's right. It means we are gonna be more determined. We're less likely to give up. And if we get knocked down, we're getting up even faster because we've trained our brains to habitually focus on positive emotions. You see, increasing positive emotions helps individuals build physical, intellectual, and psychological health as well as social resources that lead to this resilience and a sense of overall well-being. So we're talking about positive emotions. How do we do it? Here's how. We spend time with people who care about us. We do activities or hobbies that we enjoy. We listen to our music. You know, not what our moms, dads, and friends want us to hear, but what uplifts us, what's inspirational to us. And finally, we reflect on things we're grateful for and what's going on well in your life. So what's something you're grateful for? Maybe during the moment from si moment of silence from now on, you reflect at that and see how it increases your well-being. Come see me in the cafeteria and comments and share with me or my lovely supporters and teammates, Miss Porter uh, or Miss Fairley, so that we can share how we pursue positive emotions and learn from each other. Attention girls basketball. Basketball workouts and open gym begin Monday after school. They'll be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Oh, hey. Did you guys know what this thing is on your bag, this little card here? Guess what? You can pull it out, flip it over, and write your name on it. It's a name tag. If you don't want your name pointed out, you can just slide it back in so your name's on the inside. So why would you do that? Well, because all you guys have the same looking bag. So more than one occasion has occurred where students have walked away unintentionally with another student's bag. It takes a long time for us to figure out who they belong to. Yesterday, Mr. Trick suggested keeping your planner in there with your name on it. Today, we're taking a step further. Flip that thing over and write your name on it so we can always return to your property as fast as possible. Hey, artists! Art Club is starting back up and they'll be taking place on Thursdays in the art room, room 104 from 3.30 to 5. Anyone is welcome. There's no cost or time limit of when you can join. So even if you have sport going on right now, you can come later. Join us when your schedule becomes free. You do not have to be enrolled in an art class to join the art club. You just have to enjoy being creative. So again, Thursdays, room 104, 3.30 to 5, art club. Tutoring continues Tuesdays and Thursdays. Remember to click the big Southeast banner on our homepage to figure out where to go for what subjects. The following pictures are scheduled. Remember Friday, that's tomorrow, September 24th, 3.30 in the gym. Volleyball girls will be getting their pictures taken. And cross country is Wednesday, October 13th near the Eisenhower pool. Hey, today after school, remember, the Blue Crew is meeting in room 117. All are still welcome. So come on and join. From the college room, today we have the Air Force joining us. 
Friday, yes, there is no school, but seniors, you are welcome to come join the Zoom from home on the College and Career Canvas page to participate in the college application workshop. Bus pass is still available in the main office. Talk to Ms. Coleman to collect yours if you qualify. Hey, boys, basketball, open gym. We'll begin tonight from 3.45 to 5.45. Please see Coach Thomas if you have questions. Now, if you would, join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I like the way I said Pledge of Allegiance. Anyway, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Spartans, Focus on positive emotions. It's the first step for our pursuit of happiness. Thank you.